raft up action. Like there is definitely advantages to more modern boats. And then I'll go to the gym. Yeah. just caught the world's smallest fish. A bird crash landed to it a f like a month ago now. And today we're getting fuel. Well, it's not my first time being aboard another sailboat on the ocean. Hi, my name is Kenna and this is Jay. We live aboard our Choi Lee Offshore 41. Her name is Sitka. I'm new to sailing, but I'm learning and loving it more and more each day. Jay, on the other hand, was born a salty sailor. As he takes me under his wing to get ready to sail around the world, join us on our adventure of falling in love with the beauty of life and the wonders of each other. Welcome to the story of us, and welcome to Sailing Sitka. Good morning, everyone. Or good evening, whatever time it is. Oh, true. In your locale. <laughs> um, We're going fishing. Yeah. But not on our boat. No. Nope. We're going on a great escape today. We're going on a hunter. On a hunter. Yeah. And we're going to go fish. Yep. Yeah, they need to be like, Mazelan's awesome, but you can't run your water maker in here. The water is not good. It's not recommended anywhere, even if the water was clean to run it when you're anchored. So we're going to go out and they got to make some water. And they asked us if we wanted to come along and do some fishing. So mm -hmm. we'll bring our cedar plug and we'll try to get some mahi. Um, yeah, we'll leave the fish on their boat, though, because we're trying to defrost our freezer. That's the nature of living on a boat. It's like old school fridges, like back in your grandparents era maybe um and uh yeah they were good it just you have to defrost them once in a while we try to do ours every three to four months and now we're almost on the five months mark and it really needs to be done so we're eating the last of what's in the freezer <laughs> very important talking <laughs> points here and then we're going to be able to defrost it but all that to say we're going fishing yeah, yeah. it'll be cool to see the difference of like uh, our older heavier displacement boat versus yeah. a more modern It'll lightweight cool. boat and We're just not... to see the differences of how our boats are set up and that that'll be cool to compare it to i wouldn't exchange our boat obviously but that being said like there is definitely advantages to more modern boats like a lot more space a lot more ease of use faster and lighter winds <laughs> pointing ability and so forth but yeah Sika has advantages too yeah she's safe and she's pretty <laughs> <laughs> she got a big bum. Tiny bum, big hips. Yeah. And that makes the world go round. A little raft up. A little raft up action. Ah! I'm yeah, nervous too! Yeah, the rigging, right? Like, where accidents happen is people don't look up. Yeah, like the rigging, the mass, like that's what you gotta pay attention to because if they intertwine, we're done. Slinks. Weird seeing another sailboat this close. Clay's doing a good job. Oh, look at those bow thrusters. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Okay, good. so Han, jump yeah. on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This was easy. Go back yeah. In the bucket, okay. Hi, Haru. She's like, what the hell? Kenna. Hey, you, that was good driving there, buddy. Thank you. I am a professional captain. Yes, all right. There we go. We're putting their dinghy on our boat so when we go fishing the dinghy is not in the way of fishing but yeah that's the plan that's the closest they got that was good wow well done good job haru we did it we did it we did it we did it, we did it. that was Smoother than I thought. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Our boat in reverse would not be that smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely maybe.
Something's on there for sure. <laughs> Something's definitely on there. Stop fighting. Here, let me slow her down a little bit. Absolutely. Oh my god, that's a lot of work. <laughs> it's gonna be a long ways out there. This is the baby. No. <laughs> what you got there, hun? Oh, oh look at this little cute. tiny guy. Oh my god, look at him. We got dinner. What is it? What is it? Can I just caught the world's smallest fish? Can I got the world's smallest fish? Yeah. catch any fish just some small little guys so we're heading in but the main part of this was for our friends to make water so it was really cool to be aboard another sailboat that was the first time I was aboard another sailboat actually in the ocean so that was pretty cool how do you feel it was not my first time being aboard another sailboat on the ocean but it's always nice to see how our boats behave at sea we didn't put the sails out though but uh, we'll give you guys a tour at one point we're on here a lot so yeah I think we're gonna go get some pain au chocolat. I'll treat treat maybe on tacos. True. For mama. For big mama. That's me. Bye guys. Bye. This is live. Live. We got the prop. It was an actual nightmare. A nightmare, but like our friend Holly in Puerto Vallarta just sent us this picture. Oh, oh my <laughs> lord. You guys don't even know the half of it. Like, like just. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to translate to Danielle why I need this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no kidding. That's so funny. Yeah, honestly. It was insane, you guys. The amount of emails, the fees to get it here. Like, it was, it was bonkers, honestly. Don't get things mailed to Mexico. <laughs> like, it was insanity. But it worked out. We just received the news like five seconds ago that we got it. So it's in good hands in PV. And we're probably sailing there in five days or so. So, yeah. Happy boy. Oh, that's so cool. So the guy at the storage uh, that runs the storage locker where Holly lives, she's like, I had to translate to Daniel why I need this. So I showed him your Instagram. Sweet kid, 19 years old, lives here in a storage room. No bed, no microwave, breaks my heart, love him. He was like, wow, when I showed him your videos. Uh, he's like, anyways, he thinks you're the coolest. So I told him to invite him. It's Aww. like, he gets no days off. But you never know. Oh my God. Oh. Well, Daniel, if you ever see this. Yeah, Daniel, you're invited on the boat. Anyway. Good night, you guys. All right, so uh, I'm gonna climb up the rig as this anchorage is pretty flat calm. Um, and I'm gonna go see if our wind, our windometer that gives us our wind speed and wind direction, a bird crash landed to it a f like a month ago now, and I haven't gotten up there yet to fix it. So I'm gonna go and see if I can fix it. Same time, I'll look at the track and see if it needs any hammering. And we've been noticing like, like if you look on the rigging, like I don't know if you see here, like it's all like, Kind of looks rusty and then you do this and look it gets all shiny again so i need to clean the rigging see the difference like look at the difference between here and there so you want to do that like look how disgusting that is so you see here this area that's covered by the plastic there's like n almost none of it because the dust didn't get a chance to go on it and these are the little things that I do once in a while on a boat, but it's 
It's good. It's kind of nice to have stuff to do on this wheel or else. There's only so much tacos you can eat. <laughs> I'm so bloated, by the way, guys, right now. Oh my god. I had the hottest hot sauce known to humankind yesterday. Yeah, what was it called again? <laughs> it was like muertos or something like death sauce. And I just put a little bit, but Kenna didn't read it. Put a way too big amount on her tacos. Then I ended up eating some. It's crazy how many times I used this gear, actually. Well, I mean, you go up the mass, like... Yeah, this is the longest stretch I haven't gone up. Just because, luckily, the track has, like, been not too bad lately. And that's the foot strap I climb on. And this is just a safety strap to, in case that falls off where I let it go. So it's up to me. My little goodie bag here. Um, I'm going to bring a hammer because for hammering the track. So that one fits <laughs> in here. Um, for the electronic thing I'm doing up here, up there, it's just going to be hand powered. So I don't need to be too concerned about that. Um, I tend to bring pliers when I go up there because you never know. And usually one adjustable, one adjustable, adjustable wrench. I'll bring scissors too because there's tape that's kind of flying off there, the handle. So I can cut that up. Bring a tiny bit more tape. In case you need. <coughs> okay, okay, so now. But it's better to have more stuff and not need it. So I'll bring a flathead and a Phillips. And you know, let's put a Robertson in there. <coughs> Okay, Jesus. Fell <laughs> down. And it's scaring everybody away. Well, Jay has a bit too many tools in his little bag to bring the GoPro up, so he's gonna film with his phone, I think. So we'll get some shots of what he's doing up there. And now while Jay is cleaning the rigging, this freaking cloud of like fog dust something or other is coming in like a freaking wall like it was literally just blue sky you see that difference that's bonkers This is where I'm at. Jay just said it keeps stopping up top. He's trying to make it spin because a bird hit our hit our rigging and that instrument when we were in Meg Bay. Is that two? Is it working? Jay just said it's free spinning now, so hopefully it all works. It's at zero! Yeah, it stopped again? It's not working? No, and like the top part that says the wind direction is completely ripped off, so like a bird when that bird crashed in it, it that, that pulled it out. And then I got a feeling the impact was so hard because it was at Pelican that the internal bearings where the thing spins are just whacked. So like, if I spin it hard by hand, it'll spin a bit, but it doesn't, like it gives you a wind reading, but not accurate wind. It was way more than five knots up there. 
and it oscillates and then it binds up so it should be spinning like you know on its one axis and it's spinning like off centered so it oh. like just binds up right and it's like these you know they charge you like probably hundreds of dollars for these things and they're just made out of cheap plastic that degrade in the sun so yeah nothing's i mean i didn't have a wind indicator on my last boat you know when it's windy I, mean, I won't be able to tell you guys on camera it's 15 knots but yeah i might know it's going to be between 14 and 16 like it's yeah i mean it's not a it's not a critical piece of gear by any means it's just a nice it's a nice to have for sure because then you can be like okay yeah the wind's picking up and you know for sure but you know most most people you get your spidey senses you're able to tell you know if the wind's increasing or not well said Jay is cooking up some mahi mahi for dinner. And today was a lazy day, I have to admit. I went up the mass, so not that lazy for Papito for, here. Yeah, other than that, we did do a little bit today, but other than that, it was just a lazy day. So. All right, show what the people came from for here. Let's see if we can fluff this couscous. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta fluff it up with a fork. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this man. Ooh. A chef in the galley. The real chef is Leonard. Leonard, what's up, bud? I just work here, but. <laughs> so, yum, yum. Well, as you can see, Sitka's over there. We just crossed the channel in the dinghy, and today we're getting fuel. This reminds me of the tinier villages down the Baja. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. So this is Stone Island, right? Well, uh, yeah, it's called Stone Island, but it's really not an island. It's more of a pinnacle. It's not, from what I can see on the chart, it's, oh, you see the beach there with all the, it looks pretty. That's where we're coming this afternoon. And today is Uni's birthday. Happy birthday, Uni, on Great Escape. We love you. Next on Sailing Sitka. We are now in the Prawn District of Mazalan. See, this is what you get for going off the beaten path. Comment down below if you guys have hamsters in your households too. So we stumbled upon a little market. Make it make sense. <laughs>